This tutorial is going to demonstrate some of the ways of how you can check for normal distribution on R. So to know what statistical analysis would be best for our data, it's good to see whether it is normally distributed or not. That way we would know whether we need to do a parametric test for normally distributed data like a t-test or a non-parametric test for not normally distributed data like a man whitney u-test. There are a number of ways we can check for normal distribution and these include creating a histogram and looking for a bell-shaped curve, creating a QQ plot and seeing whether the points fall along a straight diagonal line. And then we can also do statistical analysis and seeing what the p-value is. So we would be looking here for a p-value that's greater than 0.05, so a not significant p-value um, to see whether our data is normally distributed. So the first way I'm going to demonstrate is how to create a histogram on R. So to do this, we can use the hist function. So to create a histogram, you can just type hist and then in brackets, you specify your data. So in this example, I've created a normal and not normal data set just to show you the difference in what histograms can look like. So the graph on the left shows the data that is normally distributed. And as you can see, this graph has got a bell-shaped curve. The one on the right shows the data that is not normally distributed. And as you can see here, we do not have the bell-shaped curve. And in fact, the data is skewed towards the left-hand side. The next way we can check for normal distribution is by creating a QQ plot. And to do this, you can use the QQ norm and QQ line functions in base R. And it's very similar to how you do a histogram. So you type QQ norm and in brackets, you specify your data and then QQ line. And again, you specify your data. So again, here I've created an example, normal data set and an example of a not normally distributed data set. So the graph on the left shows the data that is normally distributed and as you can see the points fall closely to the diagonal line. The graph on the right shows data that is not normally distributed and as you can see the points do not fall as closely to the line. We can also use QQ plots to check the residu residuals of an ANOVA for normal distribution. Um, and we can also do this by using the ggqq plot function for the, from the gpubr package. So on the previous slide, I showed you how to make a qq plot using base R. And here I'm going to show you how to make one using the gpubr package um, just to show you a different way that you can do things. So the first thing you need to do here is to build your ANOVA regression model. So in this case, we need to specify the dependent variable. So in this case, it's weight and the group variable. And in this case, it's just called group. So I'm using a data set that's already built in on R called plant growth, which I've specified at the end of the model. Um, but here is just where you would specify whatever data set you are using. Then you create the QQ plot of this model by typing GG QQ plot and in brackets residuals and then the model or whatever you've called your model once you've made it. Just remember here that you need to specify that you want the residuals um, so it knows which values to put in the graph. So as you can see, the results show that the data is normally distributed with the points falling closely to the diagonal line. The final ways I'm going to demonstrate how to check for normal distribution is using actual statistical tests. So these are the Shapiro-Wilk test and the Kolmogorov-Smirnov test. So to do this on R, we can use the Shapiro.test function or the ks.test function. So here we type in the function and then in brackets, we specify our data. For the ks test, we also need to add um, in quotation marks p norm. 
So remember when you do um, these statistical tests, we are looking for p-values which are greater than 0 0.05, so not significant to show that our data is normally distributed. If your p-value is significant, this would indicate that your data is not normally distributed. When checking any data for normal distribution, you just need to check which data you want to check. Um, and this is usually the dependent variable, but obviously when you are testing more than one group, so for example, in an independent samples t-test, then you should check each group for normal distribution separately. Just to finish off, I'm also going to show you how we can use these tests to check the residuals of an ANOVA. So here I'm going to show you how to do the Shapiro-Wilk test. So like when we made our QQ plot, we first need to start with making the regression model, and then we use the Shapiro.test function in the same way as we did on the previous slide. So as you can see here, the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, so we do have normal distribution. So just to summarise, these are just a few ways that you can use R to check for normal distribution of your data.